Hi, I'm Edward Barrow. I work in Stanley Gibbons' auction department. And um, today I, I brought along a couple items, postal history, to try to discuss what exactly is postal history. So these two items are Cayman Islands items. We, we currently have a sale that we are um, just about lotting and um, getting, getting ready for auction. And they're interesting items because not because of what they actually are, but because of the history that they've been through. And that's one of the things about postal history is that it's not about the actual item, but it's, it's about the story behind the item. And these two illustrate that quite well. So on the surface of it, these, these items look rather plain. I mean, this, this particular item here looks like something that your gas bill might arrive in. It's completely unremarkable, and you would never think it was either interesting or valuable. But it, it gets its value largely from the fact that it went through a hurricane. It's called a hurricane provisional. And to tell the story of the cover, you have to go back to 1932. So the Cayman Islands are a group of three islands, equidistant between Cuba and Jamaica. On 9th of November, 1932, um, it was hit by a Category 5 hurricane. Um, it, I mean, this was like one of those cataclysmic storms. Back then, they, they, they didn't name storms, but this one was so bad that it became known as the Cuba hurricane, because after it hit the Cayman Islands, it went on and, you know, wove a path of destruction right across Cuba. But it hit one of the islands, came in Brac directly, and it was a category five hurricane. So it had a massive storm surge of about 30 feet and winds over 200 miles an hour. It killed about 69 people, if I remember correctly, which um, you know was a terrible loss of life. One of the other things that happened was the post office got completely smashed to pieces. You know, all their stamps, all their artifacts, all their cancelling devices got completely lost. So the, 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 the postmaster came up with an ad hoc solution. What he did was he initialed, and here we have two examples. Um, he used his initials, which was ASR, in the corner of the envelope. That would be a, a sort of validation that the person had paid postage on the, the, the item. After initialing, the mail would be bagged up and taken to Jamaica. Cayman Islands, sort of fell under the wing of the Jamaican post office. So any mail that was going abroad had to go through Jamaica. Um, so what, 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 what the Jamaican post office wanted was to, to make it known that this was, wasn't a, an unstamped letter that needed to be taxed or that the person at the end had to pay. What they wanted was, was that, you know, some, some device to show that it had actually been paid, the postage on it. So besides the, the, the little um, initials in the corner, what, what they did was they ran it through one of their machines, which had emblazed on it, postage paid. Um, and that's th those, those, those are the sort of telltale signs for a valid cover from this period. This, this particular device only, only lasted a very short time around the time of the hurricane. And um, very few, only a handful of items from this particular period and this particular event survive. So they are you know, extremely rare and very valuable. And here we have two of them um, that are exceptional just because they are rare. The first one, like I said, is, uh, is, is quite an ordinary cover. And it, it just looks like you know, a piece of mail. But because of its, its, its provenance and its, you know, the fact that it, was, it grew out of this cataclysmic event, it's interesting. And um, it, it commands a premium thereof. The second one might actually have been in the post office when the hurricane hit, and that might be why it looks so awful. It gives cachet or value to, to the item just because it's passed through this particular history. This is in a sale that we are currently getting ready for uh, middle of June, and um, it, it's rare to have two of these in one sale, but this is, this is a sort of superlative sale of Cayman Islands material. You know, the, the ordinary can be extraordinary. 